Christ, blessings everyone, psychic medium, Elizabeth Grove, the paranormal priestess here. Welcome to any of you who are new watching this channel, glad to have you. Uh, if your guides have sent you in my direction, I thank them. And it's, it's just really wonderful to be able to be on YouTube to bring this information. And I've been hearing so many wonderful things from people who are out there either by email or by comments. And um, I've gained so many subscribers lately, and this is really saying to me, the message is to me that you are resonating with the information that I'm bringing, the messages that I'm bringing from the divine realm. So it's not about the number, it's the fact that there are people who are out there who um, are looking for this information and they really are resonating with what I'm bringing. So I am so grateful and so blessed for this, and I will absolutely never take this for granted. So I just wanted to say that. Um, this video is going to be continuing from the last two, so actually this will be a trilogy. Um, and I think that it's a really good thing that it is because there are so many new people who are awakening now and they are searching for information uh, in regards to what they're experiencing, um, that they're experiencing another, that they can't explain it, it's so intense. Um, they never felt this way before. It's challenging them. Uh, it's it's constant, and they they are trying to you know find the answers to describe what it is that they're going through, so that way they can they can learn more and they can have this validated. So I have the twin flame recognition video, which is first. I have the twin flame validation um, for those who are looking for answers and and what the pros and the cons are with that. And this one is going to be about twin flame communication, which I think is um, a perfect follow-up to those other two. And I get so many questions with this subject all the time. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, I am a professional medium. I am a divine channeler. I can bring through the messages from the divine realms uh, very directly. I can also channel higher selves of beloved um, many times right through my body. So we're getting very, very direct communication in the reading sessions that I do. And I'm also known as a remote spirit extractor specialist, uh, which is very high level, unique work that removes um, all types of dark interferences, everything from psychic attacks to uh, the demonic to um, to everything, um, any type of interference that would be on a soul level or within the physical. That also includes malicious souls and dark malicious souls. So any and all types of negative interferences. And this work counts as a healing. Um, it's also an activation. So I, I offer that um, you know, to those who are trying to move forward on their divine processes and they feel like they're being interfered with. Um, so I do have that. And I am a twin flame. So I am a divine twin flame. I have been on this journey for a number of years. Uh, I have went through very, very, very unique experiences, a lot of different challenges, obstacles, and um, I'm on my path to union. And um, I'm here to be able to share what I have learned, um, as well as share my gifts with the, cha the channels that I bring. Um, and I definitely can say that I have had plenty of experiences with the subject that I'm going to be talking about in this video, which is the communication part. Um, because what I have with my twin flame, at this point anyway, is based on the higher self-communication and also telepathy. So I do want to talk about those. I do want to touch on the physical communication as well, because this is also very, very helpful. And, you know, it has its place, of course. All of this has its place. But I just want to talk about um, the communication part in case anyone is new. So the first one that I want to talk about is the higher self communication. And I get questions from subscribers, I get cl clients even asking me that they're not really always sure what a higher self really is. And so they ask me to define what a higher self is. And I don't want to make anything too complicated. I, I don't think that that ever helps anything. But the higher self basically is your true, pure identity. Um, it's the part of your soul that uh, is functioning from the highest level consciousness, okay? And the higher self basically is, is you with all the soul experiences that you've had, everything that you have learned throughout time, 
through all your incarnations. This is your true, pure, undiluted self, free of ego, and the higher self has the greater picture of what is happening. Okay, so all the time when I bring through higher selves of the beloved, um, just to make sure that no one is confused, when the higher self comes through, they are speaking from their point of view, and they're also referring to what is going on with their uh, lower consciousness um, or the physical self. And what's so beautiful about this, what we're going to talk about, about the higher self communication and why this is so helpful, especially when there's physical separation that's involved. Um, you know, there are many twins out there where the physical union has not come into harmony yet. So although you have met your twin flame in the physical, perhaps dated, um, maybe you were in a um, relationship, uh, some even married, um, but it doesn't matter if you're in the physical with your beloved, if it's not in harmony, it's not considered union. To be in union is to be within harmonization, to be in harmony. So I just want to say that. Um, and But there's some also out there who have not met their twin in the physical yet. And I don't want any of those people to feel like um, that this is something that's not going to happen or take place. However, when the physical separation is present, some out there, especially those who are new twin flames, don't really understand how um, the benefits of connecting with your twin's higher self, that's going to do so much for you so much for you. It's there. It's there to help you in so many ways. And I'm going to explain some of those ways. The higher self communication for a lot of twins, not all, but many, 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 um, they experience very vivid dreams, okay, of their twin. And for many, this is the, the first connection that they make with their beloved, whether they they know who their beloved is in the physical, or even if they don't. And these actually are not dreams, so to speak. They're fifth dimensional connections. So this is 5D that we're talking about. So it's real. And there is a clear difference here when there, um, when there is the 5D communication in the dream space. Because these dreams literally do not feel like any other dream. They are highly vivid, vivid. Very vivid, the emotions are very strong, your senses are very heightened, and you remember these dreams, you don't forget them. You don't, they are literally experiences. And so a lot of times this is the way that uh, a twin flame will connect in the beginning. And the beautiful thing about having the 5D experiences in the dreams is that you get to really experience a lot of glimpses um, about your twin flame that you don't know about and you learn about them. Actually, this is true for all higher self communication. And so having this connection really does open you up to their world. For many twin flames, they'll be able to see their beloved's past, either past lives, that's something that's very, very common. Um, they'll also be able to see flashes of this lifetime. So uh, there are twins that see their have their twin um, in dreams when they were younger, and they get to see some of those experiences, as well as they also get to have glimpses of what's presently happening through the dreams. So I know for some who are new, it may sound like it's a little intrusive, but what you do have to understand is that the twin flame, who is your mirror, which I've stated in the other, in the other videos, they are you, you are connected, you do share the same soul, you do share the same heart space, it is you in two bodies. So, you know, one person is holding primarily the divine feminine energy, the other primarily the divine masculine energy, okay, uh, regardless of sexual orientation. And so having these dreams really opens you up. And I would say with the higher self-communication in the dreams, my suggestion, and this is what I have done on my journey, I always suggest to journal if you can. Uh, these dreams. So if there's something that re that's really profound that you felt and experienced with your twin in a dream and it was so vivid and you just woke up feeling very, very emotional about it, I definitely recommend writing this down, writing as much detail as you can remember. Um, try your best to write this as soon as you can, like because sometimes when you wait, 
you may forget some of those details a little bit, you know, I mean, not the main dream, of course, that's going to stay with you, but some of the little intricate details of conversation and such, um, you know, it may get a little bit fuzzy as you go about your day. So you want to try to write those a little sooner than later. Uh, but getting to know your twin in the dream state um, as the 5D is really, really helpful. And it gets you, it teaches you to understand more about them, more about their lives. Uh, from the dream state, um, usually, uh, you know, the normal progression of this was that, you know, we would start in the dreams and then you'll start having the higher self experiences or exchanges while awake. Um, this is what happened for me on my personal journey, just to share that. Um, so it started in the dream space, okay, and that's where I actually um, was able to have the recognition. And then uh, when I woke up, then I started realizing about the connection, um, and then I started having the higher self experiences while awake. And for some who connect with me through reading sessions, you know, I, I always I always ask, you know, the client, like, do you connect with your twin's higher self? And sometimes their guides will tell me right off the bat that they don't, or their twin will tell me, you know, can you please communicate with me? I am here. I am in your space. I'm in your home. I am aware of what's happening in your life, and I'd like to communicate with you, and I'd like to help you out. And, um, you know, some twins are like, well, I'm not really sure how to do that. And they're not really sure what the benefits are of that. And this is normally what I find from twins who have met in the physical, and they're very wrapped up in what is, you know, not working in the physical yet and the struggles there. And they completely forget or don't even realize that the main connection here is the energetic connection. Okay, so the energetic connection is the true energetic union. I say this often, and this is really true. It is about the energetic union, about that love, the soul love, the love of the hearts, the love of the sparks that you have. It's about that before it can actually be manifested in the physical and work in harmony. Okay, because we are now experiencing the miracle of as above, so below, having these divine unions, um, these energetic soul unions, having that come into embodiment to serve humanity. But first and foremost, it's always about the connection of the hearts, the energetic connection, the energetic uh, soul connection. And this is where the higher self communication comes in. So the next question I'm usually asked is well, how do I how do I communicate with my twins higher self? How do I even go about doing that? I did definitely touch on that um, on one of my other videos when I was talking about um, you know working with your twins higher self and the triggers and things like that. But I want to just zero in more on it with this video with communication. Honestly, when it comes to communicating with your twins higher self, it's not as complex as one may think. It's very, very easy to communicate with the other part of your soul. I mean, first off, it's truly about setting the intention to do that. Okay, you first have to set the intention. Okay, and I usually suggest that, you know, to go into your meditation space or somewhere quiet and, you know, first call in protection. I always suggest connection, uh, protection with everything that you do, any kind of spiritual activity. So from Mother Goddess, Father God, Jesus Christ, Archangel Michael, um, also Archangel Castle of the Universe. Um, you may want to also work with Archangel Cassiel. And ask for that protection. Ask for the gold light or blue or violet light to be over you and around you throughout your full existence protecting you. And then, you know, just breathe and relax. Tap into your heart space. If you have to put your hands on your heart space, if that helps to breathe into your heart space, fill yourself up with that love. For some, it depends on where your abilities are. For some, you know, they may be able to uh, have more of an empathic connection with their twin. So for some, it may be easier to feel them, feel their presence. Okay? And this is still a communication because feeling the love that you have for your twin, tapping into that, and then just intent on sending out 
that feeling to your twin. I guarantee, you know, your, your twin will receive this. If you are intending on communicating with your twin's higher self, your, your twin's higher self will show up. Believe me, and I've had so many readings where I've had a client go, oh my gosh, I hope my twin's higher self shows up. And sure enough, there they are. Or they don't say anything and the higher self is already waiting there before their phone call. And then they tell me, oh, well, I, I asked my twin's higher self to be present and, and there they are. So it's really that, that simple. And that's if you are sending emotions and you're more so with that. But there, are, it depends on your abilities, what your strengths are. For some, they may feel um, that being able to visualize their twin's higher self, that's the way to go. Um, and by just visualizing your twin's higher self, you're establishing that energetic connection. It's as simple and as immediate as that. Okay? So you're already having it. Um, and then at that point, you know, you can even meditate on, show them pictures, send that their way, and then just be open to receiving. And you'll be receiving, guaranteed, you know, some pictures will pop into your head clairvoyantly in your third eye from your twin's higher self. That's when it's up to you to truthfully trust and accept what it is you're receiving because a lot of times we get caught up in our ego minds and we get distracted and then we think to ourselves, well, did I really want to see that or was that something that was sent from the outside? And so it's up to you to just clear your mind, really remain open to the process and set your intention and focus on your twin flame. However, that's going to be easiest for you. Um, there are others who are clairaudient, more clairaudient, and that's to hear. Some twins are able to hear on the outside, just as you're hearing me now. I find that's uh, a lot more rare. Um, for me, I hear on the inside of my head any type of channeling or medium work that I do. So it's like if you are thinking to yourself, you're hearing within your own head. For me, I, I hear very, very clearly. I hear the voice, the tone, the accent. So anyone who's had um, medium work with me or channeling work, they know that what's coming through is definitely their twin because I can just hear the voice and I describe the voice and the accent and so on and so forth. But so just thinking something and sending it to your twin's higher self, that's the way of doing it. Um, your twin many times will speak to you, okay? And Again, it's about being able to decipher if this is coming from the outside or um, you don't want to get caught up in, in your ego of judging it or analyzing it. So it's working with these abilities. But the twin flame communication can be various ways and it's really, really beautiful. And Mostly I find that twin flames, they do know that they're connecting with the higher self. Sometimes they'll be a little bit skeptical. It's like they've known all along, but still they're a little skeptical. Um, you know, they'll come for me, say, for a revalidation. And then lo and behold, there's the twin flame's higher self repeating the same conversations and describing the same scenarios. And that confirms that it's, that it's real. Um, Definitely accept that this is real communication that is happening. And with the higher self communication, a lot of times uh, it's accompanied by a very, very strong emotional response. Okay. And this emotional response, you bet, is it's the heart communication. It, it's the feelings. It's the hearts that are communicating. What's so important about having the higher self communication while in the physical separation is really, really understanding that this union, this divine union is beyond all space and time. So if things are not currently working in the physical, it's not that they won't. It's, it's far from that. Everything is a process. Okay. By working and communicating with your twins, higher self, it's definitely proving to you that this love is beyond anything physical. This love is, this love is continuous and we're always together. We're always connected. 
you're never without. So sometimes people out there, they need that reminder too. And if they're not communicating with their twin's higher self, they never thought about it, they don't know how to do it, or they're just so wrapped up in what's happening uh, in the physical, um, they're missing out. They're missing out on what this connection really is, what it means. And the fact that you're never without them, you are always with them, always. And I think that's really, really important. And I, I think that helps so, so much with staying in the faith, staying in the trust and being able to surrender what's happening in the physical and just focusing in on the energetic connection and what's happening there. And here's why. With the energetic connection, this is what I, and I always say this, this is the preparation right there. It's all about the energy, guys. So if the energy is not vibrating at a high enough level and sustaining that in order to come into physical, into the physical together and be in harmony, um, it's just not prepared yet. Divine timing, of course, comes into play. But I want people to realize, again, with divine timing, that divine timing is somewhat flexible and it does go off of whether or not the energy is is prepared, whether or not the energy, the, the like attract like, whether or not that's in harmony. And if it is, then divine timing will work with that, okay? It depends on where you're at energetically. So if you are vibrating, say, uh, in a lower state, by, you know, just falling into fear, falling into doubt, okay, being very much triggered, again, that, that falls along the lines of being in the doubts, being in the fears, that perhaps this is not going to happen for me in the physical, perhaps this was some sort of cruel joke, I hear this, and it's absolutely not true, it's definitely false, um, all, you know, Maybe this is just meant to be some sort of learning lesson for my own soul, but it was never meant to be physical. And yes, the twin flame connection is absolutely self-mastery. It's learning for your soul. It's for graduating souls. But there is so much that the twin flame couples are meant to do in the physical that cannot be done if they're not in the physical. So that's why the physicality of the union, the harmony within the physical is absolutely necessary and it's necessary for templating for be for being able to become the brand new what uh, love looks like okay bringing that in changing the way people feel um, and think about relationship taking them to the next level of unconditional love and that this will be the new norm okay and the other part of it is that the twin flames come together into the physical and they bring a third energy. And that third energy helps so much with the massive transmutation of the planet. Okay, so we're raising the consciousness of the planet and we're, we're helping the planet to ascend. So that's just the overall picture that I always love to bring out. I think it's really helpful to, to always go back to the, the full picture. So the higher, the higher self communication um, is really about that energetic that exchange and also about the healing. Okay, what else energetically, what is there to heal in order to raise that vibration so that way the physicality will happen in harmony? Because some people, they have to realize that the connection is just not prepared yet. There are certain things um, that are still happening there are perhaps relationships or marriages that are still dismantling. Your divine beloved is still going through a very rough process of, of transformation. They're still awakening further. There's awakening, but there's still awakening. Awakening is a process. Remember that awareness is a process. So, you know, that's there for them. And so please just stay compassionate and be patient. I know that for some of you it's very, very difficult right now after it's been so long. But please know that we're at the end stages of this. And this is moving. It definitely is moving. Um, but please know that they have their own uh, experiences that they're going through in order to bring them up to the level of where you are. But by working with your twin's higher self, 
it helps you to not get caught up in the stress and the fear of the anger or sadness or guilt, those things, those are the things that you don't want in the energetic connection. And remember, it's all about the energetic connection before the physical. So what I'm trying to bring out is by working with your twin's higher self, it also helps with clearing out what's no longer serving the energetic connection. Okay, so as twins, we bring with us so, so much, okay? There are traumas from ancient lifetimes. There are traumas from this lifetime. There's uh, belief patterns. Um, there's a mental programming, emotional programming. Um, you know, there's, there's so many different things that we take with us from lifetime to lifetime. And in order for this type of divine union to be able to sustain and uh, be an embodiment in harmony, um, it's about that energy clean out. So the benefits of working with your twin's higher self while in physical separation are just, there's so many benefits. I always make sure that any client that does have a reading with me or seeking out guidance, that I always suggest to them, you know, that this is, this is definitely what to do with that time along with being in your own healing, your empowerment, um, starting your mission, things of that nature. But to absolutely work with your twin's higher self and be able to work with clearing things out. Okay, and that's only going to prepare that connection for the physicality of it. It's not the other way around. The physicality cannot be forced um, at, at all. Here's an example. Say your twin is, is uh, having a lot of issues. Perhaps they're within alcohol or they're within drugs. They have some sort of addiction problem, things like that. Okay, by trying to force communication, by, um, you know, having that push and pull with your twin in the physical, things really, they're not going to go anywhere with that. Because it's all going to come, come down to what experiences your beloved has gone through, what's the root cause or contributing causes that, you know, adds up to their addictive behaviors. So it always goes so much deeper than you realize. Anytime a twin is going to run away or feel repelled, it always comes down to, to fears, to belief patterns, to mental program, emotional programming, things that they've experienced on earth, um, uh, different things, guilt, uh, abandonment, you know, things like that. It comes down to the family structure. A lot of times I'm reading that, that it comes down to the family. Perhaps there are divorces or there was dysfunction in the family. Um, things like that will cause someone to develop these types of fears and doubts and behaviors and patterns. So without those root causes and contributing causes being cleared energetically, it would prevent the, the physicality of the union. They just would not be prepared. They would not have a cleaner vibration or a high enough vibration to have the twin flame union in the physical yet. So that's why it, working with the twins higher self and doing this is so, so important. And I've been asked, well, you know, how would you go about doing that? And that's a great question. Um, I have written down a few suggestions, some steps on how to clear with your twins higher self. Um, and, you know, I, I did this actually because I had a client, an international client, and she uh, had a little bit of trouble with English and English was her second language and I wanted to make sure that everything was really clear for her and you know I wanted to of course impress, impress upon her on how important the inner work was and how important working with the twin side self was and basically working with your twin to clear is about what I said you know come into the space meditation space quiet space make you know that intention uh, using your abilities, your strengths to communicate, okay? However, this feels comfortable for you wherever you are in your abilities and your strengths. And to be able to intend that you are releasing whatever the fear pattern may be, whatever the, uh, the, the root cause may be. Now, in some cases, it's going to be a lot more helpful and a lot more uh, impactful to know what these fears are. 
versus sometimes it does work if you say, you know, I release all the fears and the doubts um, that my twin has and I release it throughout our whole existence in the name of Mother Goddess, Father God, and Jesus Christ, effective immediately, amen. Something like that can be very helpful and you're releasing it out of your light body, you're releasing it out of all of your existence. But some things are very deep rooted, so it doesn't always work at that way, okay? Violet flame invocations, transmuting, extremely helpful. Yes, I definitely recommend that. Um, but there are other times too where the issues are better to be a little bit more specific. So if you know, for instance, um, say your twin's higher self is able to relate to you that they have a problem with committing to committing to you because through their lifetime they have witnessed, you know, how their parents, you know, his parents or her parents, they fought, they were divorced, there was cheating involved, and this left a definite impression upon them. Perhaps they've had bad experiences within relationships. And the twin flame, of course, is not a relationship. It is a, par a divine partnership or a union. But throughout relationships, perhaps they've had these experiences. And so they've developed, um, you know, a um, uh, claimed a false identity. I've talked about that in another video. Um, and they've developed these fears that perhaps you are going to do the same to them. If you do know that, or even if you had a reading session with me and your twin comes through it and says something like this, at least you know that, okay, there's a fear of commitment here, and the root cause of this is due to the parents in this lifetime, or it can be, you know, maybe an experience in another lifetime. And so the more specific that you're able to know about this, the even better it is when you clear. Okay? But definitely... Definitely, 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 please, if you have not communicated with your twin's higher self, um, and perhaps you feel them around you, but you just have not taken the time to try to directly communicate with them, or don't know how, didn't know that there was even something that could really directly do with them, uh, I would definitely give this a try, definitely start, because uh, there's so many benefits that will help you and help them and prepare things. The other great thing about um, you know connecting with your twin's higher self um, comes down to that energy exchange, that love exchange, and that there's so many ways of being able to exchange that love, and higher self love making is one of them. And this is something that often comes up. Um, twins, depending on their personality, have all different ways of uh, admitting to this and expressing this or requesting this. Um, you can imagine, you know, what some of these these uh, medium sessions could be like. Um, but I'm always, always glad when this is brought up because sometimes the twin is not realizing that um, their beloved is making love to them, believe it or not. They may feel like this is something that is dark in nature and they're more so receiving a, a, a psychic attack like an incubus or succubus type situation and they don't realize that it's actually their twin who's making love to them and for those of you who may not know about the higher self love making or haven't experienced it or maybe you have but just are not conclusive that that's what it is higher self love making is truly about full body or full chakra or uh, orgasm so it's very electric feeling so I would just uh, describe it as a pleasurable electric that runs through the body. Um, and many times it's felt in waves up and down the body. So definitely this type of love making, it, it can last for a very long time. It can. Um, it's because of all the electric sensations, the energy, and the fact that when you're making love to your twin's higher self, you're connecting in that way, um, you can get heart orgasms for it. It's not just, you know, what we know of as far as 3D sex. This is so much higher, so much grander. It's, it's divine love making, um, very pleasurable. And it's definitely a way to communicate with your twin if you are not with them in the physical. Um, but it also pays to mention that 
when you are with them in the physical that the higher selves also simultaneously make love while the physical bodies are making love. So that's something to mention too. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful way to exchange that love with your twin, um, especially if you are in physical separation. Um, again, it is that reminder that you are never ever truly separated, that you are always together. The twins are always exchanging, whether it's lovemaking, whether it's exchanging, um, you know, uh, heart feelings, emotions. Um, they're always together. The souls are always looking to communicate, always. So that is truthfully, truthfully, truthfully a, a benefit. And if you feel like you are struggling with the physical, um, you know, what's happening in the situation, uh, it definitely helps you to understand that it's best to surrender that situation and just go back to the energetic connection and how can we exchange love here and what would be in the highest good to clear here, okay? Because twins are always healing each other. Yes, twins are always healing each other. If there's anyone out there that, that's saying or sharing that twins are not healing each other, that's completely false completely false especially when they're not in the physical yet and and um you know you're looking to repair the connection that healing with your twin's higher self the energetic healing is there another thing to mention about the connection with your twin's higher self is it also helps to bring you into awareness of who you are it opens up so much within you okay i've touched on that it opens up your abilities so your twin by just by communicating sharing that uh from communicating all different ways to you know love making you know all of that that will wake up your your spiritual bodies okay that will bring you back to remembrance that will help to emerge your gifts that brings you into the awareness so it's a really, really beautiful thing. And the more that you are um, taking, you know, taking the initiative and you're communicating with your higher, the twins higher self, and you're staying with the love, that's only going to help heal you and bring you into your empowerment. Okay? And I know that communicating with my twins higher self did so much for me along those lines of bringing up my abilities and also changing, you know, changing a lot of my perspectives and taking me from you know one area of a career and then taking me into what my true mission was okay and helping me stay on track and by communicating with him he's helped me to truly uh get to the core of so many things of myself emotionally you know mentally um, helping my physical body to heal and, and giving me suggestions and helping me out guiding me with that so you really you have that spirit guide with your twin flames higher self and it's it's, it's such a beautiful thing. It's such a beautiful experience. And it shows you the truth of who they are, regardless of what they're projecting, what illusion they may be projecting in the physical. It shows you the truth of who they are, which is so important to realize. So important to always go back to that. So I think that's all I wanted to really say with higher self energetic union. I, I was make sure I have a couple of notes put aside just in case I don't want to forget anything. Um, actually, yes, I did. I did want to mention something. Um, the higher self communication also brings forth a lot of different signs and symbols and synchronicities. And one, one very common one is seeing, of course, the numbers, the number synchronicities, but also um, your twin flames, higher self, they speak to their beloveds in songs a lot of times. And I hear this often and I've experienced this myself where a twin will communicate how they're feeling and you'll just hear a song and you'll make make that connection that, oh my gosh, you know, the lyrics, um, this song was from my twin's higher self. This was a message. There was something in this song for me. And some of those songs even show up like at 11.11 or, or at some type of um, uh, angelic synchronistic time signature. And you'll just know at that point that there's something special about that song and you'll feel it and then you'll listen to the lyrics and you'll know that this is a direct message from my twin sire self. Another beautiful way and um, a very common way to communicate with your twin. And I know I've done this, that I will actually send a song out myself. 
I'll send a song to my twin higher self. Okay. And it's, that's a pretty amazing thing too, because I know that I've gotten songs back. Okay. You have that rapport going on. So having that rapport with your twin higher self, it's not only is, is it, is it fun? It really is fun. Um, but it's just beautiful. It's comforting. It's nurturing. It's healing and empowering. So it's all of those and it's there and it's, and it, it's helpful. So helpful. The other way of communicating with your twin is through telepathy. And I, at least, well, you'll have to tell me out there if this is happening for you, but I found that telepathy actually is happening a lot more lately than it has probably due to the, the solstice, the winter solstice that we had, um, and the twelve twelve gateway, I found that. And so the twin flame telepathy, now the telepathy is coming from the mental and emotional bodies. So this is more so um, in, in that sense. Um, it's a lot more of a grounded, grounded communication. Okay. And it's pretty amazing too. And what's awesome about this is that again, if you are not able to be with your twin in the same physical space, that it, it doesn't matter. You, you can just send thoughts. You can send those thoughts. You can send those emotions as well in a telepathic way and your twin will receive them. Connection is instant. And although telepathy can absolutely happen between anyone, um, it is the easiest when it comes to twin flame telepathy. It's something that's very, very natural. And so this is comforting as well. And so you get to learn a lot about your twin also in that way. Uh, it's sent consciously, but yet there are also a t a telepathic exchanges that are on the subconscious level. So not all the time is the twin aware of this in the physical. Okay, they could be, they could be aware and they could be absolutely sending it. Or if they're not consciously sending it, these are thoughts that they are absolutely having in regards to you and you're receiving them. And it's just that the wires are say, you know, coming together at the same time. He's thinking of you or she's thinking of you and you're thinking of them at the same time and you're making that connection. Okay. Again, this is so helpful in understanding the, the bigger picture of what's happening in the physical with them, what they're going through, how they're thinking about things, how they're feeling, where are they? Where are they in their head space and their heart space? Um, and it's, it's just such a, a beautiful thing to be able to do that. Um, if you're in a relaxed state, either sitting on a couch relaxing or if you're laying in bed, I find it uh, actually really, really easy to do this like, you know, right before you fall asleep. Sometimes you can fall asleep, so just be, <laughs> be aware of that, um, especially with all the energies and how exhausted we've all been. But um, I do find that, uh, you know, when you're in that really relaxed state and you're lying down in bed, um, that connection can be made really, really easily um, if your twin is available. They're not always available telepathically to exchange back and forth. So in other words, you may send it, but they may not send you something back. It's happened to me. Just be aware of that. Don't take it personally. Um, but that connection, um, when it does happen, is, is pretty amazing. Again, write some things down. Take some notes there. And be really patient. If you are receiving telepathically that your twin is not ready yet, um, perhaps they're, they're still experiencing some, you know, 3D fears. They're still working through some things. Perhaps they are just, you know, caught up in their schedule and they don't really have the time to pursue uh, more answers or pursue this connection yet. Just, just let it be and just go with the flow of it and just enjoy it. I think a, a lot of twins, they forget to enjoy the connection. So if it's not happening in the physical, it's like, oh my gosh, when is this going to happen? I can't take this anymore. He or she doesn't want me. Um, was this all a waste? And da, da 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 and we get caught up in this whole tailspin, this tornado of fears, fears. And you know what, if they're not ready in the physical, please know that that's okay. It's not okay, I mean, it's okay. You don't have to time it. You don't have to time it. Just take it step by step and be compassionate. Because remember, this is a lot for them, just like it was for you. And they're just trying to, to understand. 
okay? They still have things to deal with, perhaps. And you may receive this type of telepathic message. Um, or they may just come, you know, and, and let you know that they're thinking of you. They absolutely are, and they are feeling you in their space. And you may get that sense to not really just push them any further for answers um, because it's just not the right time and it wouldn't really be helpful. So just take it as it comes and, and let the exchange be the exchange. And know that it's, it's all love, it's all okay, and just keep in mind that the physicality of the union will come. It will come. It is absolutely the final stage. You are meant to see this through. So just enjoy the process as much as possible. I know that there's a lot of challenges that are involved with us letting go of what no longer serves us, going through the very difficult ascension symptoms, uh, the physical stuff, the emotional stuff, um, even some of the mental stuff that's coming out of us. So I know that this is a, uh, a challenging journey. However, though, it's all for the highest good of our soul's empowerment, our self-mastery, our twins' soul empowerment and self-mastery, and to bring the love to each other so that way we can bring that out, okay? So I'm, I'm always about that. So enjoy the communication. Enjoy the communication. Um, the last part that I wanted to delve into um, just a little bit, touch on, is, is the physicality, the physical communication. Um, and the physical communication can somewhat be very, very hurtful and painful. And I've heard this from many, many twins, um, who have met in the physical or, you know, perhaps you work with your twin, um, perhaps, uh, you've known each other for a long time, perhaps you had a relationship with them and it fell through, you know, perhaps you left off, I hear this often, you left off on a really bad note. Um, or your twin just cut you off and you really didn't understand what was going on. Perhaps your twin was coming forward only to pull back. Okay, so there's that. And I know so many clients of mine, they sometimes look at this and they go, you know, they put a negative spin on this and go, you know, I just, uh, you know, I don't understand this. I don't understand how this can be such a divine, beautiful, unconditional love and my twin is treating me like shit. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Can you please explain this? And actually, I'm not the one that really has to explain it because many times their twin's higher self will be there in the session and they'll explain it. Or Archangel Michael will come through for a very powerful confirmation. And I think that we don't honor these exchanges in the physical enough. I mean, the ones that, you know, also that they, they don't feel good and they feel painful. And it's, you know, it's not a nice experience to feel that gut-wrenching pain of when your twin is pulling away or if your twin has said something very, very hurtful or nasty to you. But um, just to know that, you know, understand where they are in their healing and where you are, um, just to be aware of that that these triggers, they point to that. I, I think that it's a really great learning tool. So although it feels very, very painful, we can take that and go, okay, you know, my, my twin and the physical said all of these things and pulled away or treated me like this. Um, what, what are the fears? Again, it comes down to this. What are the fear patterns? What are the belief systems here that are lower in nature? Why are they afraid? What are, what are they afraid of? You know, and these are, these are the things that are just so very, very important. Just had a visitor there. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, I am talking for a while here. Um, but please know, I just want you to know that these physical exchanges, these physical exchanges are very, very good learning tools. And they're there to teach us that there's more healing to do, okay? This, there, there's more healing to do. And the time that we have spent in the physical with our twin, those really great exchanges, it pays to be grateful and blessed by those and honor those. So honor the both. That's like, you know, honoring the, the light side and the shadow side of things because they all have their place. But if you have had those really difficult exchanges in the physical, please know that 
it, then it's time to step back and sometimes it's best to just breathe, surrender the situation and go back to the energy, okay? Go back to the energy and what is still there to address? What is still there to clear? And there, if you go in and you delve into that energy work and you do clear with your twin higher self, guaranteed, guaranteed, that's going to shift the communication and the physical. That's going to shift the dynamic into a higher place. And that's what it's all about. It's getting to that higher vibration and having that vibration be grounded here, having it embodied. Okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. I know that I did a lot of, um, of explaining and I hope that you guys are finding uh, all of this very, very helpful. So far, I've, he I've heard very positive things. And for those of you who, who are new, I'm hoping that um, these three video series that I, I just uploaded, that I hope that somehow this is helping you, this is validating, this is confirming, this is clarifying things that you're experiencing and um, answering many questions that you have. If so, please tell me, leave comments and questions below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and I'm here. I'm here for uh, reading and channeling sessions. I'm also here for uh, spirit extraction work, uh, which is healing work. And everything that I do is, is off of being a vibrational match with you. So I always check to see if I'm in the highest good um, to work with you because I think that's always the best way of going about it. Uh, what is in the highest good? So I will check in with my team if you contact me and I will let you know if we are a vibrational match to work together. Um, the paranormalpriestess.com is the website. I'm going to leave all that information in the description below. You can like the page on Facebook, The Paranormal Priestess. I'm also on Twitter at ParapriestessYT. So many bright blessings to all of you who took the time to watch this video. And I will see everybody next week. From the heart of the darkness is born the light. Take care, everyone. Love you guys. Bye-bye.